Uh, this is just a quick I wonder what the heck's going on video. Um, there's a chart I'm looking at that's for Liquid by Jars of Clay. This song, the, uh, the transcription is in C sharp, I think. C sharp minor, I think. And I guess, and I don't know. I mean, I know the song is originally in, is it considered E-flat? And I know how much, this is one of the jar songs I still really haven't figured out. And I can't figure out if they're using the alternate tuning when they play it. And I'd have to watch videos of the band play it. Because I remember watching um, the Jars of Clay Interactive video where they play it in straight E minor. So, so in order to get, e, get that flat, I would have to lower my guitar half step. Um, this one's in C sharp minor, and I was trying to, you know, if I go with what I consider a traditional C note sharp minor, which that's me. No, not knowing my guitar, my tendency would be to go to a okay, quote unquote power chord. See, I'm not getting this arm, I'm gonna have my chord name wrong. So, so instead of doing the full on bar, I might do this. And the next suggested chord was an A with the C sharp in the bass. So I might do something like, if I was playing this version of it in this key, I would be like... And this is supposed to be sort of the beginning where the mandolin's just playing a lot and the strings are in there. So this would sort of be what I would be sort of quote-unquote doing on a guitar on there. This is all, this, like I said, this is just an exploration video, so things can be horribly wrong and... I'll learn something and hopefully in the future. Which kind of has that open strummy jars feel, I suppose. And then it goes into these chords that are C sharp minor to C sharp minor with B in the bass to an A major 7 back to C sharp minor with B in the bass. Um, so that could get really messy for me personally. If I'm trying to do, and then I have to find a B note. Uh, how am I going to do that? Then I guess I would kind of fret it off like... So, I'd kind of probably... And then it's supposed to go to A major 7, which is... Which I don't want to slide down all the way down there. So there's kind of a... I was playing around with it. So there's kind of an equivalent where you go... That might be an A minor 7 up on the 6th fret. So what I boil it down to is I could do something like this. chords that would be playing during the verse and they played like four times and then for what's considered that sort of bridge that happens the so that would be like So that's kind of like if you're going to play it in C sharp minor. 
thinking about this. I don't know how that would be. I wonder if I just lowered the guitar half step down. If I wanted it, if I'm like shooting for playing more like uh, the original uh, first record release key or the. chords work like maybe as a campfire solo uh guitar version but not really like within the context of a group and certainly not the way jars played it i don't think that i mean that got pulled up on stage hey play this song with us i'd be like no please don't <laughs> like i can't <laughs> i have to say i'd have to go ahead and say i can't i don't know how um, so this is a song that's baffled, that's baffled me for a long time, and the sheet music doesn't necessarily fully point the way. It gives you the key, and it gives you chord names to go by. Um, so Liquid's just been really difficult for me to figure out, and I think, uh, Boy on a String's kind of driven me crazy, too. Those two records in particular. This is just a ramble. Uh, thing, but I just thought this was interesting. I found this chart and it was in C sharp minor, and I'm like, okay, well, so I take a look at it and I'm like, how can I play these chords? And I'm looking at the chord names and I'm like, okay, how can this work in a way that actually is playable for me? And that's just an interesting experiment, and I wanted to share it. Um, and I guess I'll tag this in. There were some another another guitar channel that he started looking at. Um, songbooks and how inaccurate they were for the learner um, and I might do something like that <laughs> although I'm not sure I'm qualified to <laughs> I mean I can kind of hear where you know the first George Clay book was right and where it wasn't per se it's almost like the friendliest instrument that that book is for is a piano honestly but anyway so this is just a interesting experiment i wanted to share see you guys in the future